Hi, my name's Daniel Pemberton and I'm the composer on the new Guy Ritchie film, King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. So what we tried to do on this score is try and create a soundtrack that didn't sound anything like you'd expect on this kind of film. Also, we tried this idea of putting genuine physicality into the score through breathing and screaming. And this started off with a great idea from James Herbert, who's Guy's fantastic editor. And then it sort of morphed into quite a big part of the score. One of the things we wanted to try and do was create a very visceral feeling score. Uh, I really wanted to capture those elements in the world from the stone and the metal and the leather and the dirt and the grime in the soundtrack. So I was trying to get something that didn't feel necessarily clean. I wanted to get a score that just felt like grubby and tough and not polished. I started researching ancient instruments and found a fascinating array of sounds. Things like the tromba marina, hardanger fiddle, nickel harp, VLs, they all help make this score sound unusual. If anything made a crazy horrible sound, I was in. I wanted it for the film. We did stuff with rocks, uh, even like the chopsticks and the Chinese takeaway one night made it on the score because they just had a really great wooden sound. Things like hurdy-gurdies, these kind of amazing sort of folk instruments, actually you can detune them and make them sound really weird with just fiddling around a bit. Alongside these unconventional instruments, you know, we still use things like a full orchestra, but even then it'd be like, how can we twist the orchestral sound? Let's get them to all play out of tune. It gave the sound a different edge. One of the best things about working with Guy Ritchie is he does let the music have a really big part of the film. I think we've managed to create a soundtrack for, for King Arthur that is unlike anything you've heard before in a King Arthur film.